we'll break that down now. I'll play that first, uh, the opening solo slow. We just talk about that, that a little bit. Um, it's uh, in the pentatonic box for the most part in D minor. But he actually puts a lot of Dorian uh, notes, Dorian mode, which is, you know, I don't know what you know about modes, but that's sort of like playing in C major when you're in D minor. So he's throwing in that note and sometimes this note. And then he also is doing a G minor arpeggio with that part where it goes. That's a G minor triad there. And that note of the G minor triad is not in the Dorian mode, D Dorian, C major. But it's in the G minor chord, so he throws it in there. He's a great player, you know. Um, a lot of people, because he's not blazingly fast, um, a lot of people just kind of pass him by, but he's an unbelievably excellent player. Um, he, he can, he just, his expression, the expression in this song is, is unbelievable. It's, he says so much with so few notes. Anyways, okay, so we start the song with this. So we're, we gotta go. We gotta bend that before we hit it, right? Right. So we don't want to go. That's just that's gonna make you sound like a bush leaguer, okay? So we want to hit those. Hit that note bent, and we bend it down, right? And then we're up. And there's a little trail off of that, okay? So that's just all you let it go. And a little pull off. Okay? Next line. So it's just that bend. And he plucks there. Those are the pull-offs there. Okay, next line. There's a lot of little things going on in there, okay? So, so that's plucked. That's hammered on. Okay. Uh, next line. Take that that whole bit so far. So okay. Then he does the G minor arpeggio. A lot of guys play that different, but. If you want to sound authentic and you want to do what, what he's doing on the record on Abraxas, he's doing this. He's going. He's definitely hitting that E note there. And then he bands up here. Okay? So don't go. Because that's not right. Do this. And then he's up here. So just a long bend and pulls off 
That little that note's got a little little hook on it. And up here. And he definitely does it one of those. And then we're here. Okay, so So let's try it from the G major or, or the G minor arpeggio. So. One more time for that arpeggio. That's the first solo. Like I said, it's it's um, the timing in it is a little funny it, because he's playing with such feel. He's sort of drifting in and out of time, um, and the bends and the vibrato. It's just such a feel thing. Okay, so um, actually, when you play this song, this song will expose uh, a lot of players that tend to not have great feel. Because um, if you don't have feel when you play this, it's just you can tell right away. Okay, so and that's what I love is feel. I think feel separates the greats, the great guitar players from the okay guys. Anyway, so the second solo, we start same box. Okay, so we're starting here. So it's. It's a bend up and a pluck there. So, and then we do an octave bend where I'm, I'm bending this note and playing that note. Okay, so the whole thing is. slide just like the first solo okay and then we're gonna slide up here okay so it's sliding up here that's a hammer on That's one of the ones where the timing is a little little funny. It's it's a feel thing, right? So And then we're up here. Okay. So take it from there. Okay, and then that'll lead into this this hammer on part. Uh, those are great licks. Love the, that part. Okay, so it's 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 hammering on here. And then a bend. And then we do a double stop. A double stop is when you hit two strings at the same time. So The G and the B string. Okay. That's the end phrase. So the whole thing is. So slowly, one more time. I'm doing, I 
my style is I, I like to rake into notes. A lot of times he isn't doing that, okay? So um, I, I, I'll just do it without, without raking. I always fall into raking because I, I like the sound of it, but I don't think he's really doing that. So I think he plays it more like this. Okay, then we come into this. Whoops. So it's just it's just an octave bend. Another go up two frets, another octave or so not an octave bend, a two fret bend here, so but he puts that vibrato on there, so it's and then we're here. that note for a while and then drifts it up. So I'll play the whole thing. Uh... Okay, so it's uh... Okay, so it's So we'll take that part again, so... And then he does that, that unison bend again there. And to a double stop. So it's... And then this note alone. So it's... Okay, so... So let's take it from the uh two, three, four, one. Okay, I'll do it one more time. So G minor arpeggio and it just keeps going up so it's it's all right and we glide that down so um okay uh, yeah G minor arpeggio and we're here so Okay, so... So... So, either finger, a little or a third. Okay, so arpeggio. And then he does the final lick, which is... Okay, so that, that lick is it's three here, two here, two here, one. So, three, two, three, two, two, one. So... And those are all pull-offs. That last lick just slides up from here chromatically, and those are those are hammer ons. Another hammer on, and a, and, a, and a slide up there. So that whole 
little bit is. Okay, so from the ar arpeggio, it'll be. I'm not sure I, 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 uh, I might have plucked some of those, but you know, it's pretty close. And that's the solos for Black Magic Woman. Alright, hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching.